Just to oh. remind you, there's that. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, welcome to Sassbox. Today I've got with me Maria. Hi. And we are recent graduates. I'm a graduate in acting. And I'm a graduate in law. So today we thought we'd just talk to you about the after effects, do's and don'ts, and stuff that you expect after graduating. Yes. So, let go. So, Rochelle, what did you expect after finishing drama school? Well, obviously I know that acting is a really hard area to get into, mm -hmm. so for me now it's about finding a flexible day-to-day -day job yeah. that I can work around, go into audition here, yeah. there and everywhere. It's very competitive isn't it? Very competitive and also because I can't really settle down anywhere and I've realised that you do have to have a base everywhere yeah, of course. to enable you to be able to go here, there and everywhere to go and audition and stuff like that, so for me that is what I expected and what's going to happen obviously over the next couple of months but yeah. what did you expect graduating well, in law? It took me, initially the course was three years but I over done it in four years after having a child. Um, I was studying originally in Nottingham and then transferred over to Birmingham City University, BCU. Um, I expected to go straight into employment but I knew that that wasn't exactly the case because mm. I knew that you had to do an LPC or the bar to actually practice and okay. being a lawyer, being okay. a lawyer, being okay. a lawyer. I have the option to go back to the US and undertake the California bar. Mm -hmm. Or to undertake the LPC and then transfer over. But I mean, I'm mean, 25 years old. Yeah. I'm kind of studied quite late and I'm actually quite tired of studying. And I was actually yeah. hoping that I'd get a job straight away. Mm -hmm. Now I can get a job straight away as a paralegal or legal assistant. But in all these jobs you need experience. Yeah. Um, and it's very, very difficult. And I think it's quite unfair for graduates because the field is very competitive. Mm -hmm. I've applied for a few jobs and I'm hoping to get into the firms that I want to get into. How long do you think you'll wait until you think, you know what, maybe it's better I'll go carry on in education and get Well, those? I might possibly be starting uh, my LPC at either BPP or College of Law. Law, 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 Law. Mm -hmm. um, so that's an option. I might be doing it part-time as well as find em employment. So mm -hmm. I might want to go into a bank. I mean, with mm -hmm. lights, very, um, it's very diverse, you can go yeah. into many different fields mm -hmm. and you can work your way up. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, I don't know, I'm just, I've applied for jobs, I'm hoping, I mean, I've got other plans in my head. I mean, a lot of my grad friends who've graduated have not actually gone into LPC or the bar. Oh, okay. So they've actually gone into business and doing mm -hmm. other things or graduate schemes, which are available, but then again, are very competitive. I mean, I recently applied for a training contract with the government. It was like, a, a, it was a questionnaire and there was no right or wrong answer but I didn't get in. So again, it's very competitive. Yeah, I suppose just like acting, very competitive. I can go in the room and kill the audition, but if somebody else comes and kills it that has something better than myself, then you know. Yeah, it's very, very hard. Yeah. But I, actually, it's funny, our paths actually may cross because a lot of actors become drama teachers or speech therapists mm. or help people in business, in the business world with presentations and stuff like that and Definitely. presenting themselves. So you never know, one day I might be training yeah, Or I might be your lawyer. Yeah, that, that's very true. My lawyer right here. So, that's what we're thinking, guys. No legal aid, guys. No legal aid. <laughs> Yes, guys. So make sure we're just letting you know it's between carrying on in education mm. or it's finding what do you call it? Um, work experience. Work experience. Work experience is always great. So it is. It does help your CV, and it's always great whilst at university to definitely take up work experience mm -hmm. anytime you can. Just dip your hands in different pies yeah. because sometimes, like you say, it's not always the education that gets you that that it's job. The experience. It is, and that is the problem because yeah. you think you carry on in education, and actually, someone that's just had work experience in that same field yeah. may just get the job just because yeah. of that and it's also the person you are yeah definitely so always take on practical experience because there's a lot of people now who are in the law grad law scheme law, law field who've obviously got firsts and you know two ones but they're not they may be academically smart mm -hmm. but they're not they're not able to speak in court i mean law is a very practical yeah. um a very practical job it's not just about reading it's about being able to present yourself in mm -hmm. court and clients so always take on that practical experience and don't ever feel bad that you may not get the grades you hope to achieve it's always about practical experience and what you can actually offer to a job and as i always say you can only do the best you can do it's not about comparing yourself to anybody else whether it's in acting law or any other degree yeah. it's about the best that you can do and representing yourself definitely so yeah guys thanks for watching Thank so much. miriam thanks Thank for you. attending thanks for having me. yes and hopefully we'll see you soon definitely take care yep Bye. Bye. Oh, <laughs>
Welcome to Sasbox. <laughs> Need help with my trousers. Are they even straight? Do you like Jacka? Anything else? A skinny bomb. I don't want people breaking my car phone. I'm bloody you know. Squidward, you know. Yeah. Let's see what time Danae turns up. I'm black. What is the reason why you're black? black I think so. Danae finally turned up. To buy Pokemon. What, Danae? Danae, why? How do you get? No, you put on weight. No, No chill. I can't deal with this nonsense. Put that in the video. Hey guys, welcome Not to Sass Park. I don't actually know what I'm doing here. Sometimes Mr. Sass has to take over. Just got one or two questions. I'll ask you. Let's go. Bye. <laughs> Excuse the nasals. We moved all your stuff out. I ordered this stuff into this. Graduated. Rochelle Hamilton. This Pizza. is real. Cutting ties with London completely. Yeah. What's your master plan now? Production company. Thumbs up down below if you like the video. Hey guys, welcome to Sass Park. Yeah. Ready? Go and see the regulator. Five for nothing. Uh -uh. What you been nasty for? This green room is not green. <laughs> what can I do to you? Come on. It's a light problem. <laughs> Hi,